And we now go to South Africa with proof that one man's trash is another man's treasure. Using discarded plastic packaging and roofing materials, an internationally famed artist is creating his glorious collages. And here is a close look. The tools of this Johannesburg artist trade are second-hand plastic and a heat gun. And Bongeni Buthalezi recycles plastic waste into art, tearing off strips of color and melting them onto a homemade plastic canvas. The way I do my work is that I collect plastics, recycled plastics from retail shops, garages and so on. I bring them back into my studio here. This is the process of producing this art. I stretch white roofing plastic over a wooden frame. On top of that, I start building up with different colors to create or to build up the image. This busy Johannesburg city garage is one place Buthalesi goes to collect plastic especially soft drinks and beer packaging. Then, at his studio in Selby, Johannesburg, Buthalesi sorts through his plastic cache to select the right colors for his palette. He then starts melting the strips of plastic onto his recycled canvas to create the image. The Johannesburg Art Gallery hosted Buthalesi's mid-career retrospective in 2011. Musha Nulaheni, the gallery's curator of contemporary collections, sees parallels between the artist's work and that of the old masters. And they do become almost like, like oil paintings because he melts them down to a point where they're very malleable and you can really um, you know, do almost anything with it. Um, he's quite specific in his choice of what plastics he uses because um, things melt at different temperatures. Um, and if you look at his more abstract work, that's when you really see a connection to, to works like oil paintings by abstract expressionists. Buthalese's work has been exhibited in the United States, Canada and Europe. He's represented South Africa at the Cairo and Prague Biennales, as well as both Johannesburg Biennales. The artist says he draws inspiration from the nearby township and city street life. The painting behind me is a work that was inspired by two boys that I saw pushing this wire car along the street in Soweto. I wanted to do a small drawing, but I couldn't because I was fast losing the action. So I just put out my cell phone, took this picture, brought it back into my studio and started working on it. Buthalesi began working with recycled plastics in 1991. As a student, he couldn't afford traditional paint so began experimenting with plastic waste instead. Since then, he's honed his plastic art skills and now co-owns a gallery in Johannesburg's Da Vinci Hotel. Abdiel Leroy, CCTV.